Hello, in this tutorial we will show you how to edit the front page of your website. Upon logging in and being greeted with the dashboard, we will use our mouse cursor to find and select the title pages and hovering over it we will select all pages. This will now load a new page showing us all the available pages on the website. Next, we will scroll through and we will look for the front page. As you can see I have not located it on the first page and I will move to the second page. Scrolling down you can see I have found the front page and it is titled the front page. Hovering over it we have extra options. We are able to edit, quick edit, view or edit with Elementor. Please note that we will select edit with Elementor as this is the page builder that we are using. Please allow the page to load fully before continuing. As you can see my internet has taken a bit of a dip, please bear with me. As you can see it is still busy loading the page. Please allow it to finish completely before continuing. You can see the page is now finished loading and using our mouse cursor we will navigate around the page and you will notice as we select different areas a thin blue line will appear around the area you are highlighting. First we will start with the main section. Using our mouse cursor we can hover over the first section and you can see we have an option to edit the section as shown by the six dots. By clicking this the window on the left hand side will appear. Here we are able to change the layout and structure of the section. Next, underneath the styling section, we are able to change the background color, the background overlay, the border, add a shape divider or change the topography. Next, in the advanced section, we have the options to change the margin and the padding for the section. Please note that this is more for in-depth development and will not be required by you. Moving on from the section, we will now edit a widget. Again, we will move our mouse cursor and we will see a new section be highlighted. By selecting the edit column at the top left hand side, a new window will appear again on the left hand side. Underneath the layout, we can change the layout settings including the column width and so forth. Underneath the styling tab, we have the option to change the background color, picture, the border, and the topography of this column. Moving on to the advanced section, we are able to change the margin and the padding. Again, this is for more in-depth development and will not be required by you. Lastly, within the column, we are able to edit the widget. Again, using our mouse cursor at the top right, we can select the Edit Widget button. In this case, the widget is an image. We will select Image and the bar on the left hand side will appear. Here we are able to choose a new image and replace the one that is currently on the site. By clicking the image, a new window will open. Here we have the option to add a new file by uploading it from our computer, or we have the option to add an image that is already loaded on the computer by selecting Media Library. As you can see the pictures will load, and once I have found an image that I deem acceptable, I will simply select it, you will see a blue box appear around the image, and I will select Insert. If however this is the incorrect image, I can simply select the little tick and the image will be deselected. I will now close this as we do not want to change this image. Scrolling down we will come to the next section. Again using our mouse cursor we can hover over and edit the section, the columns and as you can see in this there are three current columns. The left and the right column are empty with the news ticker in the middle. Again, this is a straightforward and you will use the mouse cursor to select the area you wish to edit and simply use the left hand sidebar to make the changes you require. Once you are happy with all the changes you have made, you can simply scroll down to the bottom and select update. That is how you would update and edit your front page.